Right, it's really early in the morning and super, super dark. It is actually nearing, well, it's nearly eight o'clock now. I woke up two hours ago, well, not two hours ago, 20, like 27. So, we're about to, when Dad's finally finished getting changed, head off to the uh, Copper Fox um, event for Devon. So we're going to head there, I've got all my stuff. No, I can't. But yeah, I've got all my stuff ready and I'm really excited. In the car now. Yay! Finally making some progress, right? <laughs> we're here! And I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> There's not a lot of people here yet, is there? No. No, we are like super early. Uh-huh. That's alright. Awkward about recording as well. Yeah. <coughs> Hi. Okay? I'm here for the uh, live show. Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not the first one here. No, no, not at all. Cool. What was the surname? I'll show you where Maxwell. you were. Maxwell. Maxwell. There we go, is it that one? Oh cool. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, I'll put you in the top corner on the right hand side. Okay, awesome, we'll go oh, get stuff. Yeah. Let's do the, um, yeah. The yeah, I like these a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Refusal. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the scene class though, so I don't know what they're doing. I guess they're entering them in yes. both. Oh cool, I like this dress I've seen. So I'm back now, this is not my house, but we are back from the show and I got about nine ribbons I think. I got three first places on, um, what was his name, on my Dutch horse and then I got one on Hadia and Benaby, not Hadia, she was Ida, which are my two special run models, Merenfeld set from uh Bridget who is my favorite sculptor so those three did very very well for me we didn't win the overall championship which was a shame but once again not a big deal I also sold three of my models and made 108 pounds which I'm really pleased of because it'll go towards more craft materials for the shop I'm going to open to sell bridles and head collars and saddle pads and boots when I finally figure out how to make those things, as well as rugs, I'm gonna make rugs too. But any I make first, I'll probably keep, cause I'm bound to fall in love with them. But yeah, so that was my placing list. I will show you my haul in just a second when we get back. Got back, and as you can see, this is my Copper Fox tour haul. So here I've got Finnegan, Cadno and Celtic Warrior. And I also picked up something just down here. I also picked up a rug that they were selling there, which is really, really cool. And it's for the Irish Sport Horse. So that is just awesome. So I will the cuts to taking them out and show you all what they look like. Okay, so first when we get it out of the box, we get this letter from uh person who obviously runs copper fox and she basically says she's delighted you've joined the journey and then it talks about um well it's basically to talk about what you can do with this ribbon that they made that they gave you 
and then it just talks about some other stuff basically and it also comes with this lovely picture which has a bit of the story on the back oh it's from the actual sculptor that's really cool so that's that and then we have the certificate which is on really nice paper actually look at that that's so nice and she has actually hand signed that herself by the owner of the company which i think is absolutely awesome and then it comes with a catalogue which shows you all the models plus the stages they've put so much effort into this it's really worth the price you pay for it which is about 56 59 for these horses which you would think is a lot but really, I think it is very worth the price. They are so much better than Brer Horses, Peter Stones. And the quality is just very much there. So, you get these models. I actually met the author of <clears throat> of this. Um, from This pony is based on a book, which I actually have in my bag up there. But I'm not going to bother to... Actually, no, I will get it. Because I got it here, so I might as well. Okay, here we go. It's stuck to the back of it. That. So yeah, okay, surprise, and you can see that that's the horse. So I got the book, and it's by Victoria Everly. It's very, very good style. I've only read a few pages of this, but I already love it. And I also got it signed, which was really, really cool. So I'm really happy with that. So yeah, that was a pretty special pony. She was there, and then it goes through all of the horses and I had to choose between about six that I wanted but in the end I just went with the ones that I thought were the best ones for me anyway so without further ado let's move these guys out the way and get a real nice look at this guy oh yeah and I should say that when I went to pick them up they let me take a look at them beforehand in the box which no other place does so put him up to the light a bit see if we can get some more focus going in there there we go that's better he's got a lovely face just look at those eyes but yeah he has a um, stand right there he doesn't smell of new paint which is good i really love his coloring he's so pretty it's just so lovely and it's really nice to have a welsh cob mold just looking at his feet, his feet are not detailed. Well, not the ones visible anyway. So the ones visible are detailed, which to be honest I think makes sense. But yeah, he's a really lovely model. There's a lot of weight to him too, even though you can hear he's made of plastic. And they go the extra mile by putting these lovely foam boxes so they can't get scratched. And then they have these and the boxes are so lovely too. But yeah, you really feel like you've got a quality product. And they put so much time and effort into it that I really feel like everything they've done has been worth it. They also had um, rugs that fit the Celtic mould too. And this, this box is just lovely. So yeah, let me put that back in. I don't know where I'm going to put him for now, but we will see. It'd be better if it was easier to close these, but oh well. So yeah, we'll jump cut to the next one. So here again, once again with Finnegan, we get a picture and some explanation from the sculptor. We get the lovely certificate, plus the ribbon, which will be quite useful actually for me because I make head colours. And then once again, the catalogue. So we're just going to cut to the chase and take a look at this horse, which once again I got to see when I picked him up, took a look at him, and he is huge, he doesn't even fit on the camera, but he's massive, like I think their size proportions are quite good. There is some slight spray issues on the face, like some very very slight ones just about there, that now I'm speaking about it I can barely see it. Come on, focus. Focus. Anyway, there, I really like him. It's a bit of a fault on his nose there, which you still can't see because it won't focus. And I felt the, the paint looked a little bit 
choppy and a little bit rough on his legs but unfortunately you can't see but I really like the mold this is a really nice horse and he's huge he's like I said he's really huge like I'm actually struggling to hold him so yeah let's see what he looks like in his rug Okay, so the answer is he looks lovely in his rug, like it's really nice. I will point out some downsides, the um, ribbon straps are undersized and there's a very plasticky sound to the model, there are a few join errors but they are the first ones so they will undoubtedly improve over time. And these are very odd, this, uh, this one came unglued but I really liked this, I feel like the straps needed to be larger though. But overall, I'm not complaining, it fits the model really well, and I really like that. <clears throat> Sorry about that, my dad's just turned on the fan in the bathroom. Okay, so this is my last model that I bought. He is very dark, so it will be difficult to pick him up. Once again, a very heavy plastic sound, very heavy feet. But I really like how, his, how he looks, like he's a lovely rich colour. It's got good eyes, good paint job. It's a lovely solid mould, even though there is not a lot of detailing on the mane or tail, which could be improved upon. I really like him. I think he will do well in shows as long as he's kept nice and clean. But yeah, there's not a mark on him, which is impressive because all Brayer models are absolutely riddled in marks before you get them, unless they are special runs. So... <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, that was my